OK, so here we are in Estuary, ready to have a go at improvising a piece of music using some um, gamelan sounds. Don't worry about this code here on the right. We'll come back to that in a minute. I'm going to start over here in the mini title language. And I'm going to work like this. OK, so we want the sound of a gong. So S stands for sound, gong, and that should be enough to get us going. Great. Now, I actually prefer the sound of the gong six to the uh, gong again. And in fact, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to pitch it down an octave because I just really like the sound of that gong. As, there we are. Yeah. Now, that's playing too rapidly. I want that to play sort of once every four bars or once every four gotcha. So I'll do that. Slow that down. OK, now we have a gong cycle. Next thing I'm going to do is a simple um, four note melody, a four note melongan on the sluntum. So sound is sluntum. Over here, um, N actually stands for number. Um, I need that, and then I need that, and that, and then a very simple thing. There we are. That should do to get us going. Let's have a melody on the demong. So again, we need that, and then that, and that, and then I need to set up space for four gotras like that. And then I'm going to start filling this melody in one gotra at a time. Let me see what should we do here. musicians will know what the Peking does is to play two notes for every one and there is a function that will actually do that for us which is called ply ply two and I'm going to add in another function I'm not really going to explain what it does it's called ghost but it's very nice okay Last thing I'll add on in this short demonstration will be some drums. Let me just think about this. And visuals to go with it. Oops, not sure what happened there.
And there you have it.